Nigga wanna see me fall Stephen Curry, how I ball Gosha garments and a white three on my body I'm an icon, man And my girl about a ten I should fuck her in the best Make you say they run my hometown I don't know how I'm a prince man All we talk about is cash Cash, rack, bills, man What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JR And I'm back again with another 2K video And as you can see here 60 overall status is out here um, I just uh, made my I just made the VC glitch video and I just wanted to show you guys that this is the best working VC glitch after the latest patch this is actually the fastest way to do it um, it's actually a lot quicker than my previous video so I just wanted to come out with this video and make sure that the VC, VC glitch still works and of course it does so if you're looking to get some extra VC this is the way that you do it you can get 15,000 VC every 24 hours I'm sure a lot of you guys may be looking to make a rebirth build or so, so like I said, don't spend money on this broke game. Um, do this, and it's going to help you get a whole lot of VC. One thing, um, so make sure that you, you can make your build, the type of build that you make, it doesn't even matter. You can make any build, and then make sure you go to the first team in the NBA draft. I would say, suggest you do that, because if you don't get subbed into the first two games, you'll play the Golden State Warriors on game three. And they will basically be up by 25 and you're almost guaranteed to get subbed in on game three if you don't get subbed in on the first two games. I got subbed in, I believe, on game one. And then um, after you get the VC glitch endorsement, the very the, at, towards the very end, you play the Pelicans. And for whatever reason, every single time you play them doing the glitch this way, you get up by 25. They get up by 25 and you get subbed in against them towards the end. So just do this, do this step by step, just like I show you in the video, and it will guarantee you that it works. Um, it is extremely fast and a whole lot better than before. So check it out, man. If you're new, hit that sub button, hit that like button for your boy. Let's see if we can get this to 100 likes. I'm on that 1K grind, so all that I ask you guys, if you're new, hit that sub button and hit that like button for me. You know, a lot of YouTubers that do this type of content, they get banned or whatever, their account gets banned. I'm kind of under the radar because I'm still small, but you know, I'm showing you guys exactly step by step. So if you guys can do that for me, I would really appreciate it. But yeah, man, we're just gonna get right into the video. All right, so to begin, all we're gonna do is you're just gonna make a new player. At this point, it's gotten to where it doesn't even matter what type of player you make. So you're gonna see here, I'm just going with a point guard. I'm just gonna make him, I'm just gonna leave everything at default. Um, this is what you do if you're just using this for the VC glitch. Now, if you're actually looking to grind this new player, then you might just want to make him the way that you want because it really doesn't matter. But for the glitch, I'm just going to leave everything at default because at this point, it really doesn't even matter. So like I said, just make your new player and then it will ask you to go into the uh, free agency. Make sure that you don't accidentally click on the prelude and play it unless you know that's what you want to do to grind the player out. Make sure you skip the player because that's just going to speed up the process and make the glitch go by a whole lot faster. Like I said, just leave everything at default, and then it will, and then you just need to skip the prelude here. All right, for the next part, it's basically the same thing. It doesn't even matter what team you pick at this point. Um, so I just picked the first one available. You wanna hit a counter offer. Make sure you set your VC at 725 and then put everything else at zero. Hit another counter offer, hit 725, leave everything the same, hit counter offer again. And then even if they keep denying it, just keep Hit and counter offer and then eventually he will accept it no matter what and then it is going to load you into the um into your my court and then once you do that you just skip the first couple of cutscenes and then you just adjust your settings All right, so as usual, um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just adjust your settings here. 
Put everything on Superstar and then make sure you put everything on 12 minutes. Now the key here, here is you want to make sure that you get subbed into your first game. So right here, I want to play uh, the Dallas Mavericks. If I don't get subbed in, I want to play Denver. If I don't get subbed in, I want to play Golden State. So eventually, I would imagine that the Golden State game is the one I'm going to be able to get subbed into because they this team is not very good and Golden State should get up a lot on this team and that's when you should get subbed in. So if you don't get subbed in the first couple of games, that's cool. Just play until you finally get subbed in. All right, so I got lucky here. Um, it put me in the very first game. If you don't get put in the first three games, then you might want to consider um, restarting and just creating a new player and starting over again because I believe if you don't get put in the first three games, then it actually won't work. So I would uh, I would suggest that whenever you get put in, just record some kind of stat. So you're, you'll see right there, I just recorded a missed shot. And then I'm just going to shoot another one just because. So I got my stats. And now um, it should let me assist them out with VC. So that's important. Either you would foul out completely after recording a stat or assist them out with VC. I would suggest that you guys assist them out with VC. You have to be up by 25 or down by 25 because I feel like it works better this way. But I've also had it work with fouling out as well so you should be good either way but you're going to see here i'm going to ask to set them out with vc and it's going to take me back to the uh, nba locker room and also you might get the get an endorsement like an interview and it'll like have you select like where you like praise the fans or something out just just make sure you pick option one if it pops up here i'll show you guys All right, so you're gonna see right here, it's gonna give me like the interview option. Um, it says, what do you think about tonight's game? Just make sure you hit the call out the fans options. Whenever you get this, I feel like the glitch works a little bit better. So just make sure that you pick the call out the fans option and then it will actually put you back into the locker room. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do, just like before, um, I would suggest now just to send to April 1st and this is just to get the endorsement to start the glitch. So I feel like this is probably the longest part of the glitch, just waiting for it to sim to April 1st. So just go to April 1st and make sure you sim. And it takes, you know, I feel like it takes a couple of minutes for it to finally sim. But once you get there, then you'll have the next step of the VC glitch. All right, so I sim to April 1st. And once you do so, once the simulation is complete, you'll have an endorsement here with the question marks. Immediately click on the question marks and it'll take you to the VC and management office. Um, this is where you just want to make sure that you click the Foot Locker endorsement. And you can just spam A through the cutscenes here. So make sure you hit the Foot Locker endorsement. And then it, you can just spam out the cutscenes and then it will immediately take you back out into the park. All right, so the next step is you just want to play your very next game. Now this game right here, from what I've seen, it doesn't matter if you get subbed in or not. So whether I get subbed in or not, um, I should be able to start the first level of the, of the VC glitch through the Foot Locker endorsement. So we're just going to load it up here and then if it puts me in or if it does not put me in, we'll see. It's just going to take a moment here to load me into the game. All right, so like I said, as you can see, it did not send me into the game. And honestly, I didn't really expect that it would. So After that, it's not, um, it's just going to, you know, load you through and then it's going to put you back into the locker room. Once you get back into the locker room, then you will have the option to start the first level of the no negotiation through Foot Locker, which is the first part of the actual VC glitch. All right, so like I said, we got the first level of the no negotiation for the contract. You just want to click on it and then we're doing this just for VC. So really on this very first one, Make sure that you put it up at 2,500. So we're going to do 2,500. Make sure you leave it at 2,500. If you go up any higher, then it might cancel out the glitch and it may not work anymore. So do 2,500 and put everything else at zero. If they, for whatever reason, deny it, just 
uh, keep hitting counter offer and you'll see right here they'll finally accept it. All right, so the very next thing you want to do, this actually speeds it up a lot faster. You want to actually load into the part after you do the part one of the ne negotiation. So you load into the part and you'll see you already have the part two of the negotiation. Generally in my previous videos, I would say you'd have to play the next game, but now that's not the case anymore. So this is actually a lot faster than it used to be. So after you get that part one of the ne negotiation, just load into the park and then you'll have the part two available. All right, man, so we're just gonna click on the level two contract negotiation. And just like before, you know, this always works. Hit counter offer, make sure you hit 5,000 here and then leave everything else at zero. Now they will, they usually deny it a few times. Um, if they do that, just make sure you keep selecting counter, counter offer. No matter what, they will accept it 100% of the time. I've done this so many times. Hit okay, counter offer, counter offer again. Hit counter offer. Keep hitting counter offer and they will accept it. Usually on the very last try here. And there you go. So you do the 5,000 and then that's the part two of the VC glitch. And it's pretty much straightforward from here. All right, so before you get the actual um, endorsement to where you can do the VC glitch, you have to get sent into your next game. So we're gonna play our next game here. If you don't get subbed in against the Utah Jazz, you should get subbed in against the Pelicans. And then for whatever reason, if it does not sub you in on these two, try the Houston Rockets. Um, and one of these three games, it should eventually sub you in. All right guys, so like I said, I didn't get subbed in that first game, but the next game against the Pelicans, you can see, you know, this team is basically getting smacked and that's what we want. Generally, you will, you will only get subbed in if you're get, if you're down by 25 or up by 25. So I just come in, I just record a stat, and just to be on the safe side, just to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna come up and do another missed shot here, and then I'm just gonna send out of the game, and just to show you guys that this is this part is legit as well. Um, usually I would just edit this part out because I know you guys don't want to see a bunch of loading screens But this is kind of the imp important part of the glitch here So I'm going to show you guys that this is legit Once I load back into the locker room you're going to see that I will have the the um, Attend the event endorsement through Foot Locker and that's how we get the VC every 24 hours So you'll see it, it's right there and it's available here for us all right, so this next step is very important. I don't feel like um, a lot of YouTubers say this part. And I don't really understand why. What you want to do is you do want to load into the neighborhood, but you don't want to do the, start the VC glitch. And I'll tell you why here, here in one moment here. So you want to load into the neighborhood and then you just want to kill the app immediately. Because if you go ahead and you start doing the VC glitch, whenever you erase your saved data, it will actually take you back before you got the glitch and then you have to redo it over again. So it's a lot better if you just do it this way. So load into the park and then you're just gonna see here, I'm just gonna kill the app here. And then just reload 2K back up. All right, so like I said, make sure you kill the app so it just saves all your data so you don't lose the endorsement again. Um, so now you guys should know this part. I'm just gonna show you guys this once. Um, you want to go to the endorsement, you want to click on it, and then if you're on PS4, I believe this is a part, where I think you have to have um, PS Plus or a flash drive. But here on Xbox, all you want to do is click on the Foot Locker endorsement, you want to attend the event, and then you just want to back out of it, and then you'll get this loading box right here. I showed you guys this part a million times, so I'm just going to show it again. Um, and then after that box goes away, you just click on 2K, go to Manage Game and Add-ons. On Save Data, click on your user profile. Make sure you hit Delete from Console. Do not hit Delete from Everywhere or you will lose all your players like I did one time and then you have to contact 2K Support to get them back. I can't stress this enough, do not hit Delete from Everywhere. <laughs> Make sure you hit Delete from Console. If it doesn't go away the first time, just hit it again. And now um, you just got to reload 2K back up. So I've showed you guys this, you know, a lot before. Um, I'm not going to show. So now you're just going to do it two more times. You do this three times in, in total. So I'm not going to show you me doing it two more times because that would just make the video longer than it would be. 
but I will show you after I do it two more times I'm gonna go to the VC management office and then you'll see that I have 15,000 VC waiting for me then you just repeat this the, the same process every 24 hours you can do the, this with up to 10 players so you can basically get as much VC as you want so you'll see right here um, you'll get the sinking data for NBA 2k19 I'm just gonna load back into the park the same player and then I'm gonna do this two more times and then I'm just gonna go and collect my VC Alright guys, so like I said, I repeated that same process two more times and then make sure on the third time you clear your save data again because if you don't clear your save data on the third time um, and you go into the VC Sports Minute Management and collect your VC, when you come back 24 hours, your VC endorsement will no longer be there. So make sure you clear the data three times and then you're going to see here I'm just going to walk into the VC Sports Management office. I'm just going to show you guys that it's going to give you my 15,000 VC. And there you guys have it. There is the glitch. I mean, this way, this way seemed a whole lot faster than the previous way. So I wanted to make sure it still worked after the patch. And of course it does. So like I said, I can do this every 24 hours. As of right now, I have two players that I can do this on. But if you're close to your rebirth or whatever you need to do, you know, don't spend money on this broke game. Do this VC glitch. Um, I, I mean, so many people are doing this. I don't see how anyone would get banned, but this is how you do it. This is the best working VC glitch after the latest patch. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much. Hit that like button for your boy if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys. I'm out. Peace.